is a couple different overview screens that uh, can be made available within the system. Um, I'm going to talk about the simpler of the two today, and we'll kind of circle back at some point point in the future and get into a little bit more detail about the 360 overview screen, which allows us a little bit more capability. But I think the screens themselves uh, provide a, a nice little way to kind of enrich the way users can look at and digest information within the system. Excellent. Um, so I have actually added these to my overview menu within the work menu here. Um, today we're just going to talk about the overview screen. And this is what the screen looks like when it hasn't been configured. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add what are called widgets or widgets into the screen okay. and kind of demonstrate what, what the capability is. Okay. So there's a couple different types of widgets that are supported on the screen, um, KPIs and list. And I can kind of look at the overview screen as kind of a, a go-between screen between the start center and the types of things that you can display on the start center and the actual screen itself. So it's it's kind of gives us a little bit more information than what you can actually provide on the start center. So I'm gonna add a couple lists to this overview screen. And once I've gone through and set these screens up, I can go in and modify it at any point in time, add new screens, new things that I want to kind of take a look at. Um, so I'm going to create a list type widget and click submit and it just kind of added in a blank widget on top of the first cell there. Um, I'm going to actually edit the screen layout and I'm going to click on edit layout here. Um, and I've got a list of a drop down, you know, list of things that I can actually adjust on this screen. I can do single wide, double wide, and this isn't related to trailer parks in any way, but <laughs> single wide, double wide, double wide, left strong, double wide, right strong. And I'll just kind of demonstrate what this does. So if I, right now it's configured for single wide, which just basically means the list object that we would drop onto the screen will span the entire width of the list. Um, if I select double wide, you'll see that the kind of the behavior of the screen changes. Um, I think there's a little bug with this particular layout. I'm going to actually change this to triple wide. Submit and you'll see that it actually gave us some widgets, three different widgets. Sections kind of carved out across the screen. Mm -hmm. um, once I've done that, I'm going to add the list. So I already, already went in and said I wanted to add a widget and I can continue to add widgets as I go here. Um, I can move them around and I haven't done anything with them yet, but if I click on the three ellipse, the three little dots over here to the upper right, click on edit, um, gives me an edit list pop-up screen and it asks me, hey, what screen do I want to display here? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select work order screen. And my next option is what data spy do I want this widget to use when we're looking at some information? I'm going to say I want to see all open breakdown work orders. So say I'm a maintenance manager for a plant and I want to just have kind of a at a glance view of breakdown work orders that we have in the system as of right now. So we have a data spy on the work order screen, all open breakdown work orders, um, any of the global data spies, that are configured for a screen are available here to be selected. Personal data spies are not, so they do need to be global data spies in order to select them here. Um, number of columns, I'm going to say I want five columns and five rows. Click submit and you'll see what this widget is going to do for us. So what it does is it basically gives us we told it we want to use the all open breakdown work orders data spy. We said we want to see five columns of that data spy and five rows of data. Um, you can configure that, say, hey, I want to see 10 rows or 15 rows, whatever the case might be. Uh, sweet spot for me is about five just because it provides a nice clean overview and you can sort and prioritize those data spies to suit what you really need. Um, we can also add some color. Again, by clicking the, the three dots in the upper right, uh, I can go to the personalize and I can add different visualizations to just give it a better pop, more visually appealing look and feel. Um, I'm going to add a couple more list views. I'm also going to add a KPI just to kind of demonstrate the capability. 
So again, and now that I've added this, this white widget has just hasn't been, haven't assigned it to a screen yet. Um, I'm going to go to edit. And next screen I'm going to pick is parts. We have a data spy here that out of stock parts. So if I wanted to say come to the screen on a daily basis and just look to see what items that we may not have in stock as of right now, uh, I do have a data spy on that screen to do that out of stock parts. Again, I'm going to say, hey, I want to see the first five columns and the first five rows with a max of 25. Okay. I'm going to give this a little color also. Make this one red or reddish. Mm -hmm. um, since I've kind of used all my widgets um, that I had previously added, I'm going to just click Add Widget, Submit. Um, I'm going to edit this guy. And this one I'm going to tie to the asset screen. Um, we have a data spy on the asset screen not operational non-operational statuses or assets excuse me um again i'm just going to select five rows five columns and five rows give this a little visual pop we'll go with the gamecock blue <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's a little inside joke between brian and i I'm going to add one more widget, and this one's going to be a KPI. And it's very similar. Oop, you notice it dropped it down to the bottom of the screen, so I'd have to actually scroll down to see that. Um, but you can configure the layout of these screens and just kind of drag and drop the objects wherever okay. you'd like to see them. And I'm going to edit this guy, and now it's going to ask me for the KPI code. So this is very similar to or identical to the setup of a KPI on the start center. Um, and we're going to go ahead and say we want to see what our PM compliance is. Submit that and we have our KPI. So, so far, so good month of November. We're doing excellent with our PM compliance. We're at 100%. Um, can also visualize the header of this and we'll give this one a yellow. So you can kind of customize the look and the feel of what you see on screen. Um, if you decide you don't want a particular widget or you want to rearrange them in any way, you can just drag and drop um, to make the screen as appealing to give the you know, most meaningful to the person that's actually set it up and looked at it. Um, actually, I don't like that yellow, so I'm going to give it like an orange. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, Paul. Hey, I got a couple quick questions that that looks good. Um, on these widgets, uh, for example, in the list view, are you able to uh, hyperlink from a uh, row within that widget and go straight to that record? Uh, that's a great question, and actually, yes, you can. Um, so when you're working with the list, you just if you see something that you'd like to drill into more detail with, you know, you are limited to the first five columns of information that would be available on that screen from the data spy. But if you order those first five columns in the data spy to give you the most meaningful information here, you can certainly do that. Um, to hyperlink to the screen, there's no additional configuration that's needed. It's just a matter of double clicking on a row. Okay. And it takes you straight to that particular record. It'll take us to the screen. It'll apply the filter and take us exactly to that record that we're taking a look at there. Okay, excellent. Um, next question, Paul. Is the overview screen user specific? Meaning if you if you've developed and created this screen yourself, is it just apply to your user? It does only apply to the user that created the screen. So it very much like the start center. The start center is configurable on a user by user basis. The same is true of the overview screen. Um, to my knowledge, there is not a way to to set up a global overview screen for all users, um, but they're very simple to work with. And once you've gone through and done the initial setup, I mean, it took us just a couple minutes to, to go through and add three different screens, select three different data spies that are of interest to me as a, as a maintenance manager or plant manager. Um, 
once you've gone through that initial configuration and set up, then, you know, it's a, it's an easy screen to use. It's an easy screen to configure, but it is configurable on a user by user basis. OK, and the last question I had, Paul, is <clears throat> when you log in the EAM, can you go directly to the use or the overview screen? Can that be the first screen you see when you log into EAM? It is. Um, you can configure it that way. So again, that's kind of a user by user configuration. Um, under the user setup screen, there is a field called first screen. And this actually, let's see if I were to pick on myself rather than you, Brian. <laughs> um, so this is something that your administrator, EAM administrator would need to set up, but you can definitely, if you prefer the overview screen to the start center or to some other screen is kind of your starting point when you log into the system, you can specify the overview screen as your default when you log in. And so I logged out, logged in, takes me immediately to this screen now instead of the start center or instead of another screen that we could also configure on a user by user basis that, you know, this is my launch point now into the system. OK, well, those, those were the only three questions I had. Uh, that was really good information. Screen. <laughs>